My name is Mahan Esfahani, and I play the harpsichord. Specifically for this recording, and oftentimes in my life, I play this particular instrument, which is my own instrument, which I had built uh, for me last year. And um, I had it built because I really wanted an ideal instrument, or at least ideal in my own mind, uh, for Bach. And I guess how I play Bach, um, which is, of course, its, its own thing, I suppose. But uh, uh, this instrument is special for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, it uses carbon fiber composite in the making of the soundboard and in the making of a few other elements which I'm not at liberty to reveal. Um, it's a slightly secret design, this instrument. But anyway, um, the carbon fiber allows for a much larger, larger instrument, much louder instrument, um, also a variety of registers. So as, as you'll see and as you'll hear on the recording, there are a variety of registers that I can use on this instrument, which may have been known by Bach, they may have not been known by Bach. It's not really clear. But um, I wanted them, and so, <laughs> and so I got them, I guess you could say. And, uh, and Bach's music has that power. Of course, I first became a musician and decided to play the harpsichord because of Bach's music, but also I decided to commission this instrument because of Bach's music. So, of course, using it to record Bach is, is very special. It's really what it was made for. It's what I think, to some extent, maybe I was made for, was to play Bach. So this instrument, I mean, of course, like many harpsichords that you'll see today, it has two keyboards. Some instruments would have had one, many, some would have had even three keyboards, but this is a double manual harpsichord. And we have the average, average is a strong term maybe, but the usual registers of what we call eight foot, which is the standard octave standard register. And we have it also here plucked a bit more nasal, so it has a different sound. Usually the quality of sound is very different. I also have an extra register, which is uh, an octave above, right? So if I combine that with the lower keyboard. So you have a quality of sort of broken glass, almost, I like to say. You can combine these three registers. Again, nothing too crazy here. What does get crazy is the addition of this register, which for me is very special, which is an octave below. You see that goes down very low. That vibrates, and you can see the string actually vibrate very slowly there. So of course the question is, would Bach have known a register like this? Well, not such as it's built on this instrument. But I was inspired also by some modern instruments that I saw that were built for modern music that used this register, and I liked how it sounded. So if you can imagine now, four foot, two eight foots, and a 16 foot, so you're basically playing three octaves at once. On one note, that's already quite powerful and that has a lot of color, so imagine chords in general would be. It can get pretty loud. Now, <laughs> in chamber music, you're not gonna use all of those registers. There's one movement in which I do use them, um, but you have to be very careful about that. So you can use a variety of registers. I can use four foot, an octave below, and, and then I can put some leather pads to dampen the sound. And so here I have, and then remember four foot is an octave higher, right? So if I play it an octave lower, I can get a special sound. And then if I'm combining the registers, I can also contrast loud and soft. So for example, if I have something like... Uh... For example, and so you can have that contrast and it offers for a lot of that. Of course, the thing to keep in mind is to be very careful about what you use when, otherwise it gets to be too much.